Welcome to DaVinci Resolve Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the Pro Mist filter digitally. So in the previous video, we worked on this shot where we converted it from Rec. 709 into Cineon Gamma output to be able to add a film print look to it. So as most color grading techniques, we will work with the bulk of the primaries and secondaries before the color space transformation. In this case, to achieve the Pro Mist filter look, which will raise the blacks, bloom the highlights and soften the overall image to help the digital cameras get closer to the film look, we will add a layer mixer node, adding a serial node, option or alt S, and then the mixer node, option and alt plus L. We can label the nodes to make the workflow more understandable, although each node will show you some icons that are related to what tools are you using on each node. I find it way easier to label everything. Okay, so the way this works is that we're going to be mixing all the corrections before the layer mixer with something else. In this case, we're using an effect and then using a blending mode to output the mix. In order to create the effect, we're going to add a Gaussian blur to this node. We're going to click on it, go to effects and drag and drop the effect. We're going to crank it all the way up and then change the composite mode to screen. Of course, this is too much of an effect that maybe could work for a dreamy scene, but in this case, we want to emulate what the real Pro Mist filter does in front of the lens. So we're going to use the Luma curve in order to finesse this effect. And the beauty of doing it digitally, although I don't think it's as good quality of using a piece of glass in front of the, the lens, it lets you control what exact areas you want the filter to affect and the intensity of it. Real Pro Mist filters come in different graduations like one fourth, one eighth of strength. And once applied in front of the camera on the lens, there's no turning back. So this way it is a bit more flexible. So that's it. This is the before shot. This is the after. And this one has an extra strength for you to see. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.